In the last lecture, we so we obtained this form to uh, code, or let's say, to represent the uh, trapezoidal rule. Uh, so we'll try to apply this method to solve uh, this problem. So here, let's go to our IDE and start coding this method. First, let's define uh, our function. So our function is containing uh, two mathematical, uh, let's say, uh, terms. One of them is the sine function, and the other is the pi value. So from the standard library of Python uh, mathematics uh, library, we can import these two uh, mathematical uh, terms. So let's say from math import uh, sine and pi. Okay, then let's make our function. So this function can be uh, can be defined as lambda function of x x sine x. So, it's very simple. Now, let's define the limits of the integration. So, the lower limit a equals to 0. The upper limit b equals to pi by 2. Okay. Another thing. Here, uh, since we use the uh, trapezoidal rule, so we have number of divisions. So let's define the number of divisions. So uh, let's use five divisions as a beginning. And from the number of the divisions, let's compute the value of the step size. So here we say h equals to b minus a over n. This is the step size. We take the difference, or let's say the interval, from a to b and divide it to five uh, parts, or five equals uh, equal steps. Okay. Now, let's go to the... Uh, formula here and see how to write this in the uh, code. So first of all, we will notice that we have a fixed term here. It is f of x of a uh, plus f of x b all multiplied by half. So Let's start the summation loop because we have summation here of the terms from x1 to uh, up to f of x n minus 1. So here will be our summation, but here we have two fixed or uh, initial terms, so we can use them uh, as the initial value of the summation variable. So let's say s is the summation variable equals to 0.5 of f of a plus f of b. Okay. Now, let's start our, our loop for i in range so the range here 
We'll start from uh, x sub 1 to n minus 1. Okay, so from 1 x to n minus 1. Thus, when we make our range, we'll start from 1, okay, to n. Why? Because we know from previous lectures that the range will not include n in the uh, loop. So the last value in the loop, included in the loop, will be n minus 1, according to the method of range or the for loop in Python. So we should always be aware about this thing, that this loop will go from 1 to n minus 1, because the default step size of uh, integer integers here because range always work with integers so is 1 so the range will be from 1 to n minus 1 so always be careful about this point s will equals plus equal this is summation f of a plus i by h now, we said here, when we look to the note here, we say that x1 will be a plus h. So imagine here h is multiplied by i, and i equals to 1. i equals to the subscript here. So that, mean, that means that a plus i multiplied by h, so when i equals to 1, so it will be a plus h. Now, when i here equals to 2, so a plus i h, a plus 2 h, and so on. So this is a simple, uh, let's say, uh, algorithm that can make us uh, compute or determine the step or the position of each uh, value of x during the integration. Okay. Now, this is the summation. The integral, let's call it integral. Okay, no problem. Finally, we computed all these things. So the loop will go, we'll take all these things as a summation, and this is the added as the initial value of the summation variable. So the last thing remaining is to multiply the whole thing by things by h. So we'll x h multiplied by s. Now let's print the result. So say integral equals to integral. That's it. Now let's run this code. Okay, let's see something wrong here. Ah, multiplication sign. Okay, sorry. I have forgot the multiplication sign. Control S again. Okay, now integral is 1.00 uh, 8. So here when we go to the uh, problem, we know that the analytical integration should give us 1, exactly. So, we see here that the error which we indicated because, let's return to the graph of or the shape, we notice here the gaps seen here and here 
result in uh, uh, error. It's uh, remarkable uh, and can be seen. So actually, we can make a trial to reduce the error by increasing the number of partitions or number of divisions. So here, let's take the value. Instead of 5, let's use 10, for example. OK, let's double the value and run the code. OK, there's reduced from 0 0.008 to 0 0.1.002. So there's still some error. But so when we try 100, divisions. So, okay, we have accurate solution up to the fourth decimal digit. Yes, there's still uh, from the fifth uh, decimal digit is not correct, but at least we obtained correct solution up to the fourth decimal uh, digit. So, uh, we saw that it's a very simple to code the trapezoidal method, but uh, it results in a notable amount of uh, error. Thank you.